Today I'm taking a look at the V4 welder. So we got our instructions. It says this is capable of handling 110 or 220 volts. At 110 volts, we can go 2215 amps. At 220 volts, we can go 2240 amps. It's kind of nice. We actually have a wiring diagram in here. So in the event that something goes wrong with it, we actually have something we can look at to find out exactly what's supposed to be inside of there. I really like seeing that because most companies are trying to keep all this information secret. This is actually included with the manual. So we've got a chipping hammer with a wire brush and we have our adapter. This is a style of adapter I prefer seeing because sometimes they put the male as the 240 and the female as the 120. The problem with that is if you plug that into a wall in the 240 and you got a female 120 sticking out, somebody might go and accidentally plug something into it and that could destroy your equipment. So this is a much safer option. Here we got our stinger that is a standard twist style lock. It has a nice strong spring on it and we can see we got a star pattern there on the end so we can put our stick in at any direction. Here's our working clamp that also has a twist style lock. And I'm very happy to see that they actually put a braided cable in there so that way if it is making a better connection on this side than on this side, it's not gonna have to rely on that pin in order to carry the current to that cable. So a nice shielded interface here on the front. I do like that that actually sticks up. That does come with a 240 plug installed. So if you wanna switch that to a 120 and just pull that cover off push that together and now we got our 120. So I do like that we can actually use 120 or 240 with this welder. We actually got a metal handle on top, something you don't normally see. On the back we got active cooling, we got our on off switch and it does say that it's capable of 115 or 230. Just another way of saying 110 or 220 or 120 and 240. So it looks like a simple interface. We got a couple buttons here on the side and then we got our adjustment knob on the right. It's labeled here positive and negative and we got those color coded as well. So it looks like our stinger is going to be positive. Now, I almost always use DC electrode negative whenever I'm going to be DC welding, but that can vary depending on the type of rod that you're using. All right, so I'm going to put it on MMA. We got Arc Force VRD. So for hot start, let's go ahead and give us a 10. Basically, that's just going to make it so that it's going to flash up real easy for us. And we'll be welding eighth inch steel, so I'm going to make this 60 amps. And we'll just see how that runs. They work pretty well, so I think it was just the rod I was using. So maybe a little hot, but we do got some beads on there. So that welder can definitely glue some metal together. So overall, that is a very nice little welder.